Okay, so let me show y'all what is about to happen here. Okay, so oh, I got some canvases. So I'm hosting a very intimate sipping paint. So look, I got, they are 14 by 14, which is a nice size canvas. I don't know if you can put my hand on it so you can kind of tell the size of it. But you got the six canvas bundle for, I think, $11.99. And so I bought all of these. One, two, three, four, six packs of the canvases. I bought um, the little paint. What are these things called? The palette sets. So you get six of these for like, I feel like a dollar and something. Maybe two dollars. I'm not sure. So I got three packs of those, and then I just got the how many pieces? Twenty-five piece assorted brush sets. So I got one, two, three, four, five packs of those. The canvases. Okay. So look, and then before I get to the paint, and then I bought everybody. An apron so I got what did I get three of the like oatmeal color and then I got some white ones here and they just look like this so cute plain simple little pocket on them and then I got some black ones so I bought literally what they had <laughs> now the paint so instead of getting this from Michaels, which you know it can be a little on the pricey side, I was in Burlington Coat shopping for the grandkids again. Okay, don't judge me, and ran across this situation here. So you get how many paints is this? Twelve of the large size. This is eight ounces, the large size. 12 of these was only on clearance for, look at that price, the big bottles. 12 for $5.99, okay? And then, and then you get all these colors, so all the, you know, bright colors or whatever. I'm going to take that off. All the bright colors, right? And then I found this one with, like, a little bit more muted earth tones um not as bright or is it am i tripping wait a minute yeah i think i am tripping <laughs> anywho but they're a little bit different in shade so you get 24 of the acrylic packs packs 24 of the bottle when this the little the smaller bottle these are the smaller bottles and these were 24 for 6.99 let me know in the comments because since i'm not diy and i'm not the crafting girl i i don't know but i just feel like 24 paints for 6.99 is a deal because even when I think about this size bottle right here, because I'm, I'm gonna open it. This is the typical Walmart size that we go when I was crafting or they, when you craft. This is the small size. So aren't these like 97, 98 cents at Walmart? If I'm not mistaken, like 90 something cents. So even with them being like 90 something cents, it would still end up being close to like 20 plus dollars, $24 or whatever, not counting tax. Am I wrong or am I crazy? So, you DIYers, okay? This was from Burlington Coat Factory. Now, I bought way more paint than this, like way more. In fact, let me just go ahead and show you because she already knows anyway. Um, so, I'm going to turn you on to some, on some game. So, this is what I have for my paint party right here okay and I was actually looking for some totes 
that I wanted to give my guests as well, like little totes in this oatmeal color. Um, but to put their canvases in when they leave, their canvases, you know, all their little stuff or whatever. But there was a shortage on totes. So let me show you what I got one of my daughters. Well, she already, well, she doesn't know. She'll know when she watched this freaking video. Um, okay, so y'all, I had this map out, right? <laughs> and this is literally the map that I had on the truck when I used to, well, my plan was to um, start mapping out where I was going. And I still had the map. I never marked anything on this particular map. And so I had it in here the other day. It's a side story. I had it in here the other day. And my daughter came in and was like, Mom, um, you about to map out your trip in your van? Like, what you doing? When I tell you, you could have bought Ron for 25 cent plus tax. <laughs> he was so confused. Like, why is that big map laying there? Okay, so look. So they had the tubes of acrylic paints. You get 10 acrylic paint sets. These are the full size sets in all the vibrant colors. And this was, this was actually, it's not marked. I, mean, I don't think this is the one because I had to take another one up there that was open. The regular price on here was $14.99, but I think I only paid either $7.99 or $8.99 for all of these, 10 of these, because they, they didn't have a mark. And then here's another um, 42 pack. You get 42 earth colored, some um, brighter colors in here as well. And let me see how much the 42 pack was. Sorry. Wait a minute, y'all. Oh, Lord. $11.99, okay? And so, $11.99 for the 42. I know this one was much. This one was probably only $5.99 then. When I took it up there, I think this one got marked down to $5.99. So, I'm giving this to Red. for This is part of Red's Christmas gift because she has been hand-painting um, uh, mugs, like coffee mugs, for... Because she's going to be selling her own tea in them. Wellness teas. And the gift with the tea is going to be um, her a hand-painted coffee mug. Freestyle design. And I absolutely love it. So, this is her gift back here. This is other daughters. I don't want to show her. She don't know what she's getting. So, I have to get one more thing for her. Something else for daughter. And, like I said, this is my little paint section. And then when I'm done... Because I don't DIY and craft like that anymore. I'm going to just give her all these paints as well. To go for her little uh, business or whatever. Um, also. What else can I show you? Oh. So. Sip and paint. Yeah. We're going to talk about it together. We're going to talk about all the things together. Okay. So I've been here wrapping gifts. Right. At the table. I'm so out of breath. So, these gifts right here. How many do I have? Let's count them together. Hold on. So, this over here. Okay. We have one, two, three. We have three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we have fifteen gifts I wrapped. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to the 15 gifts. So I also picked up some um, 
some brush, some brush teeny. Brushini, br girl, how in the world do you say that word? Brushini, brushini. Brushini. Okay, anyway, these little crackers here, right? I only picked up two. What the hell was I thinking? I picked these two up. I grabbed some more olives because I like to get the olives from, um, like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. I told y'all that. It's just something about that gourmetness of it all, and I feel like I'm shopping at like a like a shop as opposed to the grocery store. So I got red pepper, olive stuff with red pepper. Um, got two of those. I got some more of the um the little pickle mix, the little baby pickles. I got one of those. And then I got two different kinds of bruschetta. Never had this one before, which is also why I like going to these places because you get a variety than, as opposed to what you get at like your regular grocery store. Um, so this is, this is lemon preserved bruschetta. And then this one looks like that. And then this one is, Signature Harissa in medium. I have no clue, but I am curious to know like the texture of it though. Okay, I'm it's too early. I ain't had enough coffee yet to open it up. But anyway, I have this to go on to the charcuterie charcuterie board. Okay. So what I like to do when I'm about to restock my cooler is I want to put, and typically I drink from the top down. So like the drinks on the top, most of the time are already open or have been open like this one. It's at the top. So that way I can finish up and then work my way down to those that are not. Um, I can Kind of tough. Like this has been open. Yes. This is the cotton candy. The Duplin cotton candy, which is scrumptious. And then this is just, uh, uh, what do you call this? This is a, a spa. Wait a minute. Is this a, is this a Welch's? Girl, the bottle looking so. Ain't but one way to tell. Okay, this gotta fit. This gotta be Welch's. Gotta be. Definitely not. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put that over here. So anyway, I see what I put out. I see what I have. Hold up. See what I have. This is what I want at the Christmas party. This gothic, which mm, sis, sell it in the grocery stores. But I got, I won three bottles. Okay, well, actually, they won me three bottles. So I got gothic Pinot Noir, the gothic cab, and then was there another one? Yeah, and then I got the Gothic Red. So I want all three of these at the Christmas party. And none of these have been open. So I'll put those up there. We have a uh, California Moscato. Um, and then whatever that drink was I just had. And I feel like this is a uh, Aldi's drink now. Yep. This is white Zeppendale, so we have some variety already. And then we have the white Moscato. We have the red again, like that. Um, we still have not much in here, but we still have the Pinot Grigio there. And so I'm left with 
room for one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Eight. Oh, will you hold three? Honey. Wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> will they hold three? Let's let's test the water, son. You gotta test the water. So if you have two going this way, and I put one like this, yeah, and then I put the other one back like this. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen on this side. Three, six, nine, twelve on this side. Girl, mm, mm, mm. anywho, I brought y'all over here so I can do inventory. Now that I know, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> That y'all can officially hold three. It is my goal then to fill up both sides. Okay. Both sides needs three bottles on every rack. So that's what the plan is for today. And that is beyond the um. So let me write that down. Okay, let me just write that down. Okay. Because this is all part of it. So I'm gonna write down. And I'm gonna get so many different um flavors even ones I've never tried so I'm we're gonna just say for example we could do one two five let's see let's do three six nine ten eleven right twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17. So I'm going to say 17 bottles of wine. I'm on the hunt for 17 bottles of unique wine. Okay? Then she's done. I like to keep her stocked anyway, beyond having stuff. Um, Pay no mind to anything you see back here behind me. So there's my... Okay, so the secret Santa stuff, right? Let me tell y'all. So this is going to be dirty sound. Not secret sound. Dirty sound. Dirty sound. So when I went to... Um, let me get these out of my rump. When I went to um, friend's house for her Christmas party this past weekend, they played dirty sound. And everyone had to bring in a gift. Everybody brought in a gift. You got a ticket that says you brought a gift. And then when it was time to draw, you got a number that determined the order in which you went up to get your gift. And you could play dirty and take a gift from somebody else that has already opened the gift and blah, 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 which is how I won the wine. I took it from somebody. And then somebody took it from me. And then Ron went back and took it from them. And they couldn't take it from me no more. So that's how I ended up with it. So we're going to play the same game here. I just got a lot of little random... Um, things that I got from different stores. And so I didn't ask my guests to bring um to bring any any of the gifts. I didn't ask them to bring any of the gifts because I had been collecting that stuff for a while and it was cool, you know. It was okay. So I have the same amount of gifts that I have people coming and then it may be like a couple extra gifts more because Ron was like well for the men that are coming Sharon like what do you have for them and I was like nothing I literally do not shop with men in mind so if they're with somebody or they have somebody they're just gonna have to give it to their significant other okay okay that's just how that's gonna work I wasn't thinking about them I'm thinking about my women women empowerment and the men just, you know, come along for the ride or whatever. We're glad to have you, but I don't think about them. 
So, anywho, so we need more wines. With that, I need more wine glasses. Okay. More wine glasses. We're doing it. We're doing this together. More wine glasses. I also need plates, and I wanted them to be festive. Plates. We don't need cups. This will be drinking up wine glasses, but we will need napkins and forks, which all were slim pickings, by the way. Okay, and that's like the stuff that I need, right? We have all of our paint stuff. No, I have three. I've chosen three images or three things that you were on, but I don't know why you went off. Um, three images that they can choose from to paint their their inspo paint uh, thing. Three things. Pick whichever one you want to, you know, bring your artistry out for and um, paint and sip and eat and have fun. Now, my goal or my plan was to see if I can just run a live stream the entire time, right? However... Ron was like, well, Sharon, nobody wants to be painting and sipping in, in silence, um, which would mean if they play music, I'll be copyrighted, okay? Um, which I could actually dub over the music that's playing to put my own music, but you will still be able to at least watch, you know, I can show you that or whatever, hopefully, hopefully, because I think, I think this crew is pretty okay with being on camera. Okay, so we have our paints, honey, all of our vibrant paints, all of our paints. So if you are a crafter, DIYer, you get into this, you know, um, you definitely want to just go try and scour the clearance section at your nearest um, Burlington Coat Factory, okay? to uh, see what you can find because that was a good deal. And the one I went to, shout out to Sis who works at um, that Burlington Coat. Of course, you know, I don't remember your name. It's, I know it starts with I, I, I believe I. One of you guys, our family members here on the channel, I met her, took pictures with her, and um, super nice lady, super, super nice lady. Um, but if you catch a, like a store like that, that be having Christmas, like gift stuff like this out, I would try places like that before I would go to like, say Michael's or somewhere like that. Just because, um, just because, yep, everything is sealed up. So you ain't got to worry about no funny business. All and just to show you the difference in size, like, like this is the size difference. Again, this is the typical one we get from like, um, like the craft store, Walmart, or wherever, Target, or wherever you get your Dollar Tree, the little small container, and then this is the large size one, which is still a good freaking deal. So. They'll have plenty of colors to choose from to bring their paint to life. And it's just going to be well polished. I wanted to get them some easels, right? That's more of an investment. Like if I'm going to always be hosting sipping paints, would the easels have made sense for me to get them? But I did want to get those bags, but they were out of the totes. The ones that could fit these canvases so that they can carry you know their canvas and whatever gift they end up with home with them okay so we said we need more wine more wine glasses plates napkins and forks to go with um the other stuff that i already have uh again i do have the menu i do it i do know i want to do turkey sliders Turkey and cheese sliders, ham and cheese sliders. 
um, I probably would do like a pasta salad because I wanted it to be like um, finger food situation or dervy type stuff, not like a heavy, heavy meal, especially since people are going into Christmas literally a day later, pretty much. So I wasn't trying to get you overwhelmed and full with the foods that, the, the classical stuff, you know what I mean? So I think it'll be nice, neat, and fun. Um, I still have to do some Christmas shopping, y'all. I still haven't gotten Ron's Christmas gift because he's such a hard person to buy for. And I told you, he bought the one thing that I was going to get him on his own. And then when I asked him for, like, hints of stuff he wants, he just always says, you're the greatest kid. Christmas present that I could have ever gotten. Meeting you this year has been the best Christmas ever. Like, I don't need anything. <sighs> That's beautiful. I love it. It makes me warm and fuzzy. But I want to get him something to open up on Christmas as well. So I'll be bright. Literally, I have today and tomorrow to figure it out because tomorrow is this paint party. So once I get my brain set to get everything set up for that, I ain't gonna be thinking about running out and getting a gift. And then Christmas Eve, who trying to be out there in the streets on Christmas Eve getting trampled? And I take that back because let me tell y'all, when I was in Hobby Lobby, right? I went around to, after I finished looking at the paint stuff, I went around to the Christmas section just to kind of eye hustle what I might want to come back and get for after the holidays, like day after Christmas, so Sunday, Monday. Uh, what what y'all stuff go to? Sold most of it ain't nothing left. Well, when y'all sell it, well, when did it get gone? Because it's gone. I'm talking one row. <laughs> one row of Christmas leftovers. One little scraggly tree sitting over there on the side. I see spring stuff coming. I see Valentine's Day stuff coming. <laughs> like, wait a minute. What, what happened to the overflowage that you guys would have after Christmas? And the sales would be crazy. Everybody going crazy. Oh, you say y'all don't do that no more? Oh, okay. Alrighty then. I was in shock. I was in shock when I went in. I had I was a struggle when I went into Bronx and Coat because I was looking for more little clothes for my grandbabies at a different Bronx and Coat. And I literally had to scrounge to create the items that I got, but I ended up doing it, but it was very, very slim pickings. And then we went to Costco's because Ron wanted to get some electronics for the boys. Um, while they had a few things, but not everything we were looking for, then we went on to Best Buy, slim pickings yet again, like, but this is what you get when you wait to the end. But I think I'm just more or less like, whoa, because there's not a lot of people out shopping, spending money. Um, I told Ron, I said, see, these people are thinking like me and Helen and the other preparers of the world. Yeah, we out here shopping or whatever for Christmas, but we're thinking about wintertime. Like, I need to be somewhere trying to figure out how many of these blankets do I need? How many of those lights do you have available? How many of those? That's where my mind is. Yeah, this is great and all, but back here in the back, that's what I'm thinking about. But it was kind of desolate. Like, it wasn't a lot of people out. I remember two, three years ago even. This time of year, it would be like ants on honey. Or is it bees on honey? 
trying to get that last minute stuff going. Trying to get it's just like people saw it when it came and hit the shelves. They bought it. They said, I ain't waiting. I don't care if it's not on sale. I'm not gonna be the person walking around the store and there's nothing available. And sure enough, <laughs> I couldn't even find a pack of paper plates. Christmas paper plates. None. Zero. Not one. Not one. Not one. And everything at Hobby Lobby, Christmas wise, was already 66% off. 66% or 60%? 60 something. So they're ready to go and get that stuff out of there because the. Uh, I also saw um, Valentine's Day stuff in TJ Maxx when I went in there. Valentine's Day stuff, they had a. a they had slid all the Christmas stuff down to a tiny little end cap almost to the end of an aisle, but it's all on the end. All the Christmas stuff. I don't know if it was on sale or how they do it at TJ Maxx, but um, I don't recall seeing like any clearance tags or anything like that. But it was just a little square section of a few candles, a few red items, a few, you know, stuff like this, a couple of little stuff like this, these little um, signs right here, but a few pillows on the, in the pillow section, very little. But they had tons of pink, red, white hearts for Valentine's Day. I almost couldn't even find me a pair of Christmas pajamas. I had a pair of red and white pajamas. Walked around with them for a while before I realized, oh, these are hearts. <laughs> these are Valentine PJs. Then I had to go scrounging through and I ended up finding just a red and white pair of um, pajamas to put on for our pajama party. But... I wouldn't even say that they're so Christmas related. They just happen to be red and white. Maybe even still went with that Valentine's stuff, but just didn't have the hearts on it. So I don't know, you guys. It's just it just seems really weird to me at this at this phase. So I don't I don't really know what to make of it. If you know, let leave me a comment down below. Um, I I am curious though to see because the at home store was the mega. The mega central mega station for Christmas decor, I think, before anybody. And they had it in abundance. So I'm curious to see what they have in there right now. I may go there like later on today when I go out to get the rest of my stuff. I'm going to take a trip to the at home store. I'm curious to see what their Christmas section is looking like. What is it looking like? Because the, the entire store was Christmas just three weeks ago. What is it today? I'll let you guys know because I'm, I'm curious. So anyway, this is this is happening on the night we're supposed to go live. So again, I'm my, it's, it is going to be my goal to... Um, the only thing with that is even if we're playing music and I dub our music out, it's going to dub out what we're saying as well. So, I don't know how you guys will feel about that, but I know you be wanting to, excuse me, be in the loop of it all. And I want to share it with you all. I don't know. I'll, I'll no, let's just say this. I'll get what footage I can for you. And if live isn't a thing because of how, either how people feel or whatever the case is, then I just won't go live. I will record it as much as I can and just take out what I know people don't want people to see or whatever the case is. Either way, I'm going to try to keep you in the loop. That's my goal. So, what else do I need to tell you guys? Um, what else? Um, so, real talk. Um, I've been a little bit bummed out for the last couple of days. But then I had to have a real grown woman conversation with myself and my kids as well about this because we all was kind of feeling it, the impact of it. Um, and so once we had a sit down conversation and talked about it and we, we had to look at the positive of what's going on right and so and that's what I try to do with anything in my life when things just seem to be what in the hell now 
You know what I mean? I always try and go immediately to what is positive about this. That shit, like this is giving you Roy back there in the back getting big as the damn room. This, you can't tell me this ain't giving you Christmas vibes. Okay, let me turn this on for you too. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Bam. Add that. Ooh, light. So I've told you, I've caught y'all up on everything. I just have a few more little gifts to get. I have the sip and paint tomorrow, right? Sharon, is it tomorrow? Sip and paint is tomorrow. Yeah. What is today? Yeah, sip and paint's tomorrow. I'll finish getting all my trinkety things for that. I told y'all where to go to get y'all paint hookup if it's available. Um, for all y'all coming DIYs and stuff for the uh, summer, spring, summer. Y'all want to repaint some stuff and repurpose some stuff. You'll have that stuff available. Um, I got Christmas stuff going over here in the background. Got my little, y'all, I lit some tea lights, candles. The, the actual ones you burn, because these little houses are metals, and they're ventilated, so, and I sat in here with it, and I lit those, and oh, down came the tears, honey, because it was light. It was like, let there be light, honey, in the village. I am loving it. Didn't see any remnants of a village for the taking for next year. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I just don't know what happened out there in the world. I don't know. So, anyway, I'm, I think I'm going to throw these in the mix. So, that way, men can have a choice, a chance to play dirty Santa as well. And I'm going to sit here, finish my to-do to, to list for today. Finish my to-do list so I'll know exactly where I'm going what I need to do, what I need to get so I can get home and get back. Um, I want to look on Pinterest for some more little hors d'oeuvre um, appetizer type things to go with this. Um, see if I want to add something fancy or on my cheese board, on my charcuterie board. Charcuterie. Charcuterie, charcuterie, on my charcuterie board, charcuterie, girl, on my charcuterie board, now, there you go, <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's all I have to tell y'all, I think, think that is it, if I should think of something else pre-editing this video, because I really need to get it up, um, because I haven't, oh, the brain, y'all. You have to excuse the brain. So I was a little bit down and out this week. My kids, my oldest daughter, we were, we were down in the dumps. And I had to put my, my, my mama panties on to just pull everybody up and say, hey, look, listen. This is the good in this situation. So unfortunately, um, okay, so my sip and paint situation is tomorrow, which is Thursday for us. On Friday is our annual pajama party. It's when the family comes over. We party. We play games. The grandkids open up their gifts. Um, it is like Christmas Day early. And then on Christmas Day, um, they will come back, eat breakfast, then go on about their day. And then down comes all this crap in here. Yay for that. Well, excuse me, this year we were hit with a little bit of, oh my goodness, um, all of my oldest daughter's kids and her husband are in quarantine right now. So here's the thing. He actually does have, dad does have the virus, right? But he's fine. Like he's not sick, just headache or whatever. Um, and they're halfway through the quarantine at this point. Grandkids, um, they're all fine. They're all negative. Everybody's good. 
but they can't leave that house. They can't leave that space where that thing is. You know what I mean? So instead of them having Christmas with us, like initially planned and then going back, it'll be the opposite. They'll just have Christmas because their Nana and Papa are also quarantined. So all of them are quarantined together. Uh, but nobody is sick. So that's a blessing in itself. Okay. So we have to get past the fact that they're not going to be here with us. But they will be here with us. You know what I mean? So they'll just have Christmas there. And then they'll be coming out of quarantine on Tuesday. Get tested again, everybody. To be cleared. You know. And then they'll go back home with Mama. And... They'll have Christmas all over again. So everything that I got them, their aunts got them from her side, will take it to um, her house and then they'll have Christmas twice. So they just won't be a part of the annual thing like we do every year. And it sucked in the beginning, but, and even though they're negative, um, we still didn't feel comfortable with them coming outside of that quarantine bubble, even though they're negative, having been around dad who has had it for as long as he's been around them the past week or so. So we just didn't want nothing to, you know, happen later. Somebody else gets sick and then it's just a whole thing. So we're just going to keep it that way. Let them come out of the quarantine as they supposed to when it's over, get tested again and go from there. So... I'm okay about it now. I was very upset yesterday and the day before. But I'm okay. Um, and a shout out to the young lady at Burlington Coat that looked out. One of you guys, like I said, um, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm horrible with names. But shout out to you. Shout out to you. And you know why I'm shouting you out. Other than the fact that you were an absolutely beautiful human being. And it was a pleasure meeting you. Ron done like 3% of his Christmas shopping already, like literally 3%. He did say that he works very well under pressure. He is the, the guy who goes in the store at the last minute and still gets everything he wants. So we'll see about that because today and tomorrow is his chance to finish. And I want to see how that's going to work out. And I still have to figure out what I'm getting him for Christmas because I still don't know. And it's really starting to mess with my mental space, not knowing, you know. I think that's all I have to share with you guys for right now, I think. I'll take you through the process of setting how, how I want this whole thing to look, how I envision it in my mind, where I want to set it up at in the house and... All of that, I'll take you along that whole process start to finish so you can see the hosts that do the most in her elements of extraness. I'll make sure to bring you along that. And anything that I do today, because I, I know I've been lacking, but that's why. So I know I get a pass for that. Um, but anyway, we're going to end, end this year, start the new year, God willing. Just like we've always done it, okay? And that's just all that matters is that I'm here now. You're here now. We're good. I'm nasally. It's okay. And, yeah. So, while I'm editing this video, Edits and Sharon will pop back on if I feel like I need to add something to this one. But I want to go ahead and get it up today. And if not, then I'll just see you guys in the next video of uh, this process right here or something right <laughs> i don't know what this be i don't know what this be this, this is like a transition into okay y'all i gotta go i love you to the moon and back and i'm gonna catch you in the next video bye